Hey everybody, welcome to another video. And today, I'm going to do this video that I promised to do on this knife. Alright. Now, I've carried this knife for maybe about three months now. Uh, in my everyday EVC pouch. And I've, the reason I've carried this was so I can test it in everyday use. This is the knife. This is the infamous knife. My wife gave me and I did a video on this when she first gave it to me and I entitled it when your wife gives you a knife okay and in that video I pretty much trashed the heck out of this knife I mean I I mean I dogged it I criticized the action I criticized the materials and the and 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 the uh, quality uh, of material and all that, you know, um, and I felt, I, and I, and I said how, how it felt, it was, it felt really cheap and everything else, okay, but I have to eat my words now, I really do, I mean, this knife is pretty decent, I have to admit, now, this is a knife made by uh, Mossy Oak, and um, it's about uh, a 20 to $25 knife, okay? But my wife bought this online from an estate sale, and I think after she was all done with shipping and handling and tax and all that, it cost around 35 bucks. okay? So she kind of overpaid for this. Whereas to like, if you could find this uh, on eBay or Amazon or or a knife store, it's it's basically a twenty to twenty five dollar knife. And Mossy Oak makes this knife, or they license it to be made, because at Mossy Oaks they make you know other gear, hunting gear and hunting equipment and things like that. So, it, or do they actually make stuff, or do they license things? So that's the question. Anyway, it's a made in China knife. And um, so let me explain how, how I use this knife. Carried it for EDC. Um, I pretty much dogged it whenever I could. Uh, whenever I mow the lawn, I have this knife on me. And what I've used it for is to cut vines, roots, um, I've used this to open packages. I've used this to open um, bags, plastic bags, paper bags, potato chip bags. Um, I've used this um, when I was at a party. I was actually um, trying to put in some tiki torches into the ground. And the ground was so hard, I actually took this knife and I stabbed into the dirt and twisted it and and dug up some dirt. And I finished it off with my pry bar by digging the uh, dirt out of the ground. But I literally stabbed this into the dirt ground and, and twisted it and dug, dug stuff out. And it fairly remained sharp. Um, I... And the amount of use that I've um, gotten out of this knife, there's no damage on the blade whatsoever. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can uh, make out the steel, steel type. Let me see. Let me see if I can read it for you. The steel is 8CR13 MOV, 8CR13 MOV. Now, I'm not a steel expert, and I'm, I don't have a, a great knowledge of steel, but uh, 8CR13 MOV, I'm telling you, it's not bad. It's not a bad steel, because like I said, I've used this knife, um, cut vines, roots, I have used this knife to uh, cut open packages, 
cardboard, uh, plastic bags, paper bags. I've used this to dig into dirt and it still functions and it's still sharp uh, as as sharp as the day I bought it. Here's leather. Okay. I mean, you really can't ask more for a knife to do, okay? I mean, and the amount of work that I've done with this knife is still pretty, um, well, it's about the same. It's a slightly more play on this only because I've loosened, I loosened it up, okay? Uh, other than that, and the reason I loosened it up was because I wanted the action to be a little smoother when opening and shutting. It's a uh, pretty drop shutty now. You know, and uh, I don't know. Uh, these thumb stud openers, uh, I'm not a huge, I'm not very skilled at uh, flipping them open. Uh, but I'm sure anybody who's... Uh, used to flipping him and have more skill than I do can flip them easy all right but for 25 bucks you really can't complain I mean this knife will do pretty much what you want it to do Let's see if I can cut it this way there you go. There you go. Now, comparing it to, let's say, a $130 knife, like the Spyderco, would, would I say that this blade is better than this? No. Okay. Uh, from day one, when I opened this, uh, when I bought this knife and, and, and opened opened it up, uh, I could tell that this knife was ultra efficient and ultra sharp. Okay, um, I mean, there's no there's no uh, comparing this to that. Okay, this will this will. Uh, this will make everything look easy okay now will this do everything this do yes of course because they're both knives and they're they're both fairly sharp but this will take this will take more effort a little bit more skill or finesse to accomplish the same tasks this can do okay As, see the see the points they're similarly designed the, the the point of the knife okay but I guarantee you this is a lot more pokey a lot more penetrating than this okay try to stab it okay Try to stab it. You see the difference? Do you see the difference? Okay. Cheap knife. Trying to stab it. Okay. That took considerable effort. Expensive knife. Try to stab it. That just went through like nothing okay this this should this might as well have been uh tissue paper or 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 uh you know toilet paper it just went through like nothing okay so the spider co uh light lightweight i swear by this knife this is my favorite knife this is the knife that i would have 
on me if it if my life depended on it and if I was out there in the wilderness trying to survive and I need a I needed a uh razor sharp stone tool uh like a caveman uh to process and uh you know game and and food and other things this is this is the knife that I would want with me okay but would, would but would I take a hundred and thirty dollar knife and go out into the yard and cut vines and roots and and dig into the dirt with this knife? No, of course not. You know why would I do that to this knife? Okay, because eventually, uh, if I abuse it like that, eventually it is going to get dull. Eventually, it is going to get less efficient. But the way it's designed and the way it's sharpened and uh, the way it works. It's like, you know, it's just perfect, you know. Can do this? Can this do that? Not as well. It can do it, but it takes more effort. Okay. So am I am I comparing these two? No. What I'm saying is that a twenty-five dollar knife, okay, can do a lot of things. It can do the job, but a hundred and thirty dollar knife like this Spyderco lightweight, uh, if it's worth that much, um, can do the job. This can do a lot easier and more efficiently, okay? But this knife here, the difference between this and this is, this I don't care about. I can use this to break through the dirt. I can use this to cut away at things, you know? Yeah, it takes a little bit more effort but you know you got to you know you just got to put in a little bit more effort and work to it you know and i don't have to worry about damaging it or uh making it dull because it does sharpen pretty easily i, I haven't sharpened it i have stropped it Okay, and uh, it just keeps working like the day I bought it. Now, will this last and hold up uh, under real abuse, like patoning with it or, or throwing it around or, or throwing it and trying to stick it into the um, uh, tr tree trunk and, and stabbing it up um, just on anything? Uh, will will it hold up to that kind of punishment? I don't know. And I probably won't try to find out, you know. Uh, after a time, will it uh, wear out and become real loose and um, break on you? And if it does, so what? It's a $25 knife. If you can get a couple of years use out of it, it's paid for itself. $130 knife? I said, I only I carry this knife and use it only when I need something super sharp or I'm demonstrating something like I'm, I am today, okay? So, I have to kind of eat my words. Um, on the action level, right out the box, I would have say a scale of 1 to 10, it was a, a 1. It had a horrible action. It was stiff. It was hard to open uh hard to shut you had to literally just flick it you know um uh, use the uh uh release the lock here and just flip it like that and it would bounce back boom you know yeah you, you to get it to open but now i i've loosened it so much that it is a little shaky 
but now it's drop shutty and with the thumb stud it's a lot smoother to open now i don't know how long this lock this locking system will hold up because it is a cheap knife uh but like i said i'm not i'm not going to overly abuse it but i'm not going to worry about how i use it like i would with a more expensive knife because a cheap knife gives you that sort of confidence okay all right thanks for watching catch you on the next video please like and subscribe